These days I feel like I live a double life. I'm either elbow deep in other people's trash thrifting at the Goodwill outlet, or I'm drooling over the latest handbag released from Louis Vuitton. Hi everybody and welcome back to Lori's Boston Found where thrifted is the new black. Today we are not talking about thrifted items. Uh, we are talking about some fun Christmas presents that I got. This was the first year I did not receive one article of clothing. I think everyone in my life has figured out that because I'm a thrifter, I'm not a great person to buy clothes for, um, and I'm also kind of fussy with my clothes. So it was kind of like a luxe and gadget kind of a Christmas. I have 13 gifts that I wanna share with you today, and there is a wide range from $9.99 all the way up to, you know, expensive. So I hope you'll enjoy it. Uh, if you are new here, welcome. This is not my typical type of content, but as I stated before, I'm gonna to try to incorporate a little bit more lifestyle and let you in a little bit on more of me in the upcoming months and years here on my YouTube channel. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's jump right in. Everything I'm gonna share with you today are actual Christmas gifts from friends and family, from my children to like the Christmas swap at our cousins, my mom, my mother-in-law. I am very blessed and surrounded by people who gave me really thoughtful gifts this year. We're gonna start with um, these earrings that I got from my mom. I'm gonna post a picture right here because they're so tiny, but I got these 925 sterling silver hoop earrings, cubic zirconia. They're the huggy earrings. They're tiny little earrings, and I specifically wanted these huggies because I like to sleep with my earrings at night and I've been noticing that whenever I put a, a stud in my second hole, I sleep on my side and then it like pokes into the back of my head. So it's really uncomfortable. So I found these for $9.95 on Amazon. And my mom actually thought it was a joke when they came in. She's like, she left me a little note with her gift that said, I think you ordered the wrong size earrings. These are for babies. I'm like, no, these are huggies. These are just what I wanted. So I've loved them. I put them on Christmas morning and I haven't taken them off. I don't plan on taking them off anytime soon. I think everything except for one limited edition item that I think is sold out on the website is available for purchase. So I'll link everything in the description. The next item I wanna talk about is a fun little gadget that my husband picked out for all of us. I do most of the Christmas shopping, but he always comes up with a few things that he wants um, to buy for the family. And he picked out these air tags, which I had never even heard of. And I think they've been around for a while, but these are made by Apple. And um, they are kind of like the tile. If you're familiar with the tile where you connect it to your phone, there's an app, you press a button, it, it beeps. And so you can find things that you have lost. So this is the key ring that goes with the tag. I guess there was a special on Black Friday where you could get like multiple tags. I think he bought eight tags. So each of the kids got two tags and then each of us got one tag and you could personalize them. And I don't think it cost any additional money. So there's the Tata tags, which I think are so cute. And it actually automatically um, was syncing to my phone earlier, like beep. One of these tags is for Jay. I am opting for this key ring. He told me that the, the keychains were more expensive than the actual tags, which makes sense from Apple. They always have pretty pricey accessories, but this is really cute. This is the one that I chose. And mainly because I think it of course goes cute with all of my um, accessories. This is what the tag looks like, and this is the back part of it. It's a little snap right here, and then you can slip your tag right in. This is pretty cute. And then it snaps back. So the front has my little Tata tag, and the back is the apple. I will attach this to my keychain. If it's lost, you press a button, it chirps, and um, I also think it gives you like a visual, like you're getting warmer. It shows you, there was an arrow, and it was like showing the direction of where your item was. I'm not sure what the range is or anything like that, but I thought this was a really cute gift. So the Silver Air tag itself retails for $29. I'm looking on the Best Buy site. And then the keychain is $35. Next up, I'm gonna share with you something my daughter bought for me and I love it so much. And I really wanted to use some of the stuff before I did this video. So I actually did my hair today with this. This is made by Revlon and it's actually a hair dryer that just blows out your hair and curls it at the same time or just softens it. I didn't get much of a curl in my hair, but I typically have really frizzy hair. So if I let my hair air dry, 
I look like a witch. It just goes like triangle, frizzy. So this did my hair in a short amount of time and it actually came out really nice. I left it as is. I was tempted to put in a couple curls right here, but I really wanted to show you what it looked like just using this. And I have to say it was fantastic. This is the Revlon one step hair dryer and volumizer. Yeah, it has 337,000 reviews on Amazon. Best seller. This retails for $44.99, or that's what it's selling for right now on Amazon. 10 out of 10. I've used it twice. I think it's fantastic. I don't know about you, but I am not really skilled with a hair dryer and a curl brush. Like my hair always comes out frizzy when I try to dry my hair, like do a blowout on my own. It never comes out how I want it to. This has been just really amazing. My daughter owned one and so she bought me one for Christmas, which I thought was so sweet. While we're talking about my kids, I'm going to move on and show you what my boys gave me, which is just amazing. They know how much I love coffee and there's a joke in our family that when the kids were little, uh, I would always heat up my coffee like multiple times a day. There was one day when Rocco was like four or five years old, he wanted me to do something for him. And I said, one second, honey, I just have to heat up my coffee and then I'll help you. And he really lost it. It's like all day long, all you do is heat your coffee. You heat it up, wait a minute, heat it up. And he like kind of had like a little meltdown at how often I heat up my coffee. So this was kind of a family joke because I also like have my soup and my coffee to the point that it like burns my mouth. So they got me this incredible, incredible gift. This is Ember and it is a temperature control mug. They have a couple versions of it. I love that they bought me this one because this is me at my desk all the time. And you know how hot my coffee is? It's 145 degrees. And it fascinates me that it sits here on my desk for over an hour and I take a sip and it's still hot. I mean, this is really life-changing. I think this is going to just be something that I can't live without. It's a 10 ounce mug and it has a little plate, which is in back of a Louis Vuitton box, that um, you can charge it on. It has like a little device on the bottom. You press the button to pair with your phone and you control the temperature from your phone. If you're a gadget person and you like hot coffee, this is pretty amazing. You can control the temperature right from your phone on the app. The funny thing is when I first poured my coffee in, it said that it was like 160 degrees. I'm like, this is great. This is the perfect temperature. It only goes as high as 145 degrees, which is actually perfect, but I have a real high tolerance for hot coffee. Oh my gosh. At first I was like, oh, that mug is so small, but I found that I like sip it because it's hot. I'm not like chugging it to try to drink it before the heat wears off. You know what I mean? So this is what the mug looks like. And this is um, a little light to let you know, I don't know if that means it's charging or what, but you can adjust the color. So if you have multiple mugs in the family, you can um, pick your own color. There's like a little dial. So I think I went with like a red or a pink. That is one of my favorite gifts. My kids did such a good job. Um, I think they do like a $50 budget. So Angie did hers on her own and then the boys went in together. Okay, next up. Another little bougie thing, you know, it's always exciting when you see these boxes, but it's not what you think. My mother-in-law purchased these items for me. Many of her gifts have come from Tiffany's through the years. Uh, and she just kind of got to a point where she's like, I didn't know what to get you this year. So I went in this direction. And when you see what she purchased for me, you're going to be like, wow, that's perfect for you, Lori. She bought me a pen. This is the pen she bought me. It's designed by Elsa Peretti, who is one of the in-house designers for Tiffany, who passed away this year, this necklace Jay bought me when Angelina was born. And this is also in Elsa Peretti, if you can see it. Um, so I actually love her design, one of my favorites. And she decided to go with the red instead of the Tiffany blue, which I also love because it was from for Christmas. I just think it's so pretty. It's a black ballpoint pen and it writes really nice. And to go with it, she bought me the matching pencil cup from Elsa Peretti as well. Just put this down here. It's getting noisy in the background because the boys just went and picked up lunch. So how adorable is this? I mean, and I love this design. It's just very simple. And again, these are things I would never buy for myself. So they really make such a nice gift. This is going to look great on my desk, 
my little Elsa Peretti, and my mother-in-law, I don't think, had any idea how into planning I've been and how excited I have been to, you know, collect things for my planners. What I do want to test is if this will slide right in here because this would make a great travel pen and it does. It slides right into the sleeve of my Louis Vuitton agenda. Such a nice gift. So thank you, Grammy. Okay, next up is a gift that I bought myself <laughs> and my husband. So I ordered these on Amazon after listening to an Instagram interview between Kate Hudson and Dan Butner, who was the author of these books. But I got these books, The Blue Zone and The Blue Zone's Kitchen. There are five locations around the world where people live the longest. And so this author, is a writer for National Geographic and he went to these regions and studied their lifestyles and what they ate, their diet, how they interacted with people in their community, in their family, how they prepared their food. And I was just absolutely fascinated by the interview. And so I ordered the books. So this is going to be something that I'm gonna try in the new year. My word for the new year, which I'm gonna talk about in some of my planning stuff is cleanse. I'm trying to be more mindful about what I eat, trying to cleanse clutter in my life, cleanse relationships that aren't working for me, just everything, like just trying to go a more simple route. So I thought this was a great book to inspire me. One of the regions that I'm the most interested in is Sardinia in Italy. And this cookbook here is just gorgeous. The images are just beautiful. There are carbs included in these diets. There are desserts, um, but I'm absolutely in love with this book. The first recipe that I want to try is um, a minestrone soup from Sardinia. It looks absolutely delicious. So these areas have people who live to be 100. I don't know if I wanna to live to be 100, but I definitely want to eat better food. The recipes in these books look amazing. So I picked those up on Amazon for as a gift to myself to kind of motivate me in the new year. The next item I wanna share with you, I purchased in Disney. So if you watched my bins haul from Disney World, you saw me go into one of the little markets in Epcot in France um, to look for a fragrance. So I ended up buying this Dior Addict fragrance. When I walked in, I asked the woman, which is your favorite perfume? And she's like this, like she beelined for this. So I tried it out. It's a different scent for me and it's really beautiful. Um, there was a scent in Italy and I can't remember the name of it. I don't remember which one it was, but it was $350 and I loved it. And it was a Disney exclusive, but there was no way I was spending $350 on perfume. Not in that moment, maybe one day. And we were going to dinner in France that night and we had a fast pass for the Ratatouille rides. We were kind of having like a France night. So I'm like, well, why don't I buy Dior in France? Because, you know, instead of when in Rome, when in France, in Epcot, does that work? This perfume is beautiful. It smells so nice. Kind of like a lighter, like um, floral light scent. It's not like a heavy scent. The one that I found in Italy was a scent that I would want to wear out. Like I also wear Chanel Mademoiselle and I also wear Bombshell from Victoria's Secret. So I like different scents. I also picked up for $2 when I was with my friend Hope. We were thrifting in Cape Cod and I, I, we each got a full bottle of Givenchy perfume. I don't remember the name of it. I love that too. So I like a lot of different scents and I would say this is the most like floral scent, but I absolutely love it and Excited to add that to my little fragrance collection. Okay, next up is a pair of shoes that Jay bought for me. My husband has been buying me teaks for like 10 years. I remember the first time he bought me a pair of teaks. It was one of our first like times away from, from the kids. And we went to Florida because he often has work down in Florida. So I flew down there with him and he had purchased for me the leopard teaks and I fell in love with the brand. And so like when in doubt, Jay just orders me a pair of teaks for Mother's Day, for Christmas, for my birthday, if you can't think of something else to get me. So this year, they always have like a holiday exclusive. I wasn't even aware that every year they had a limited edition. I know that we were really into Game of Thrones and they had a pair of 
cheeks that were kind of inspired by Mother of Dragon. Those were a limited edition. I remember getting those. I also bought the Poppies one year when they were really popular. It was kind of a bright reddish, almost orange. I ended up selling those. Those are the only teaks I've ever sold because those were kind of hard to find at one point. Teaks, I think, have come down a little bit in value. Now I'm talking like a reseller. Some of the limited edition ones really do hold their value. Anyways, these are the Teaks Tahitian Pearl. Some of the recent sales on these were $325, $375, $285, so they retailed for $175. I don't plan on selling them, but I have to look. I'm a reseller. First of all, I just want to talk about this absolutely stunning box that they came in. I mean, the box is always the same, but this topper, they always include these little elastics and typically they have like a little floral print on top, but this came with this gorgeous, gorgeous pearl thing. So I, I mean, I don't know if I was cooler, I'd probably put it in my hair. I need to think of a good use for this, but they always do something that kind of complements the shoes. And these are the shoes. If you're unfamiliar with teaks, they, they come in a box and they are like really compact. And then they, they come with a little bag, which I left upstairs. They're made really well. They're meant to be able to travel with. You keep them in the bag and then if you wear heels out, you get to your destination and then you can pop these out and um, put them on. They're super comfortable, beautifully made. They're a little bunched up when you first get them until you break them in. But look at how beautiful the Tahitian pearl is with the little pearl accent. Just so gorgeous. This was a real treat and I was really surprised by these. I've been a fan of Teaks for a really long time, but I wasn't anticipating that he would get me more. Let me know if you're a Teaks fan. Okay, next up is a gift from my mom. And if you know Meme, this is way out of her comfort zone as far as things that she would typically buy for me. Mom is a real bargain hunter like me. She was the first person to introduce me to thrifting and flea markets and yard sailing. And I credit my mom with how I ended up doing what I do. She branched out this year and she ended up getting me the Ring Alarm Pro. This is a system that allows you to see people at your front door. It's like a doorbell, security, the ultimate system for home and digital security. So there's an app on your phone where you can see people coming and going. I'm really excited to get this installed. It's a little complicated for me. This is definitely a J job um, for him to check this out and how to install it. But it's wonderful to have a security system, especially when my husband travels. I will have the ability to look on my phone and see who's at the front door. We always have packages getting dropped off here. So any little extra security that I can have, I'm so excited about. So this was probably my biggest surprise. Like I had no idea that my mom was getting this for me. And I think a lot of these items were purchased on Black Friday, or at least I hope so people could save a little bit of money. This retails right now for the Ring Alarm Pro retails for $249. And there's all sorts of different versions of it. But this is it. Powerful protection for your connected home. Built in Wi-Fi, control from the Ring app, pairs with Ring devices, simple setup, network security, and 24 seven professional monitoring. If anybody's familiar with this or they have it or they love it or they don't love it, let me know. I'm curious what your thoughts on. I can't really say too much about that because I've never used it, um, but I'm really excited to get that installed. Next up is the Google Nest Mini. This is the second generation. Um, I got this at Jay's cousin's house. We do like a family swap. You bring a $30 gift, you grab a $30 gift. It was getting late in the night. And so I dropped off my gift and then I grabbed this. The person who brought it said, oh, you're gonna like that. That's a good one. So I unwrapped it and I was really excited. Um, I do have the Amazon Echo, but that is in our main room and we have like a larger one that's Alexa. It's connected to our Sonos speaker, but I think this would be really great right here in my office. It's compatible with Spotify, YouTube music. This is cool. It says you can tap into your Google calendar and on the side here it says, remind me to pick up the cake at 5 p.m. on Friday. Um, yeah, it's kind of cool. So I'm excited to try this out. This retails for between $24.99 and $30. So kind of excited for that. Okay, just one more small item before we get to the Louis Vuitton bag, which I'm really excited to share with you. Okay, this is something that I picked out for myself. I had seen it on another blogger's YouTube channel. I can't remember who it was 
maybe it was Lux Mom. Anyways, it is a Gucci compact. So this was definitely just like a fun little, ooh, I'm gonna sneak this in with the rest of the Christmas presents. I was picking up something for Angie, I think, on the website, and they were having 15% off your purchase. And then if you used Rakuten, you got an additional 15% off. And I think this compact was $62. So I'm like, well, that will look really pretty in some of my cute little bags. So this is a Gucci compact. I ended up getting like a bronze color. This is just the bronzing powder 01 is the number. I haven't used this yet either. They are making so much noise out there. Okay, so that's what the inside looks like like a nice light bronze, although it's like changing as the light settles in. You can lift up the bronzer like this, and then you have your brush underneath. Plus there is of course a mirror compact. So I just thought this was a beautiful compact. And I would imagine that this is replaceable. I'm hoping so because the compact is so pretty. So this was like a little splurge that I snuck in so that Jay could put it in my stocking. Haven't used this yet. This will definitely be something I take with me um, because it has the mirror. So that's a nice thing to have on the go. And it also has this little pouch to protect it because it is so pretty. So that will pop right into any of my bags. This will fit in my pochette Matisse or my coach bag or anything. So it's nice and compact. So I love that. Are we ready for the Louis Vuitton now? I'm like, I feel weird sharing this because it's so excessive, but I am so excited to show you my Louis. So let's jump into it. I have taken my bag out of the box and of course it came in this beautiful dust bag. It also came for Christmas with these beautiful red ribbons as opposed to the blue that you typically get with Louis Vuitton. So I will be sure to recycle this red ribbon somehow. I was having a long debate with myself between getting the on the go bag or the Neverfull. I love the Neverfull. It's simple, it's carefree, it's lightweight, and I've always wanted to get one in this pattern. Um, and so maybe that is still in my future somewhere. But for Christmas this year, I had been really eyeing the on the go and I was debating between the MM size and the GM. The GM is the larger of the two. After watching, I'm not joking, probably 20 videos on YouTube about this, I decided to go with the GM. I think if you're really petite in size, this bag might overwhelm you, uh, but I think this size is perfect for me. I plan on using it as a work bag. I can also use it as like a weekend tote it's just beautiful and I'm so excited about it this literally sat under my Christmas tree until like 8 o'clock at night because I felt guilty opening it but it is so beautiful okay so ooh, this is not a subtle bag if you are looking for subtle this is not the bag for you it is in the reverse monogram which I wanted to get because I have the reverse monogram in the pochette Matisse so these complement each other so well and that's the front there's the back of this this also has a little bit of black leather on it which is also a part of this bag which i'll show you in a second this is a great size it has these little little studs that say louis vuitton on the corners this is just such a pretty bag and one of the reasons I wanted to get this bag over the Neverfull for now <laughs> was that I wanted something that was structured. For most of my adult life, I've been into really slouchy hobo style bags, and I've just really been craving some structured bags in my collection. So this really fit the bill, and I think the size is perfect. Also, I just wanted to say that the the Ampron in black leather in this bag is absolutely stunning. Like beautiful beautiful however it was an additional five hundred dollars to get the leather and i think at this size it would just be a little too heavy for me um, i do plan on using this with my agendas putting a water bottle inside i think it's going to get heavy pretty quickly so i think the leather would just make it all that much more heavy the thing that helped me make my final decision to get the on the go bag versus some other brand totes was the fact that it had the option to have the top handle 
or the shoulder straps. I absolutely need shoulder straps with my bag. I love to have a little bit of black in most all of my bags because I wear a lot of black and it's just a nice neutral color. I have really steered away from any of the Vachetta with Louis Vuitton. It stains, it's harder to take care of, so anytime I can get black leather um, straps or accents on my Louis Vuitton bags, I go for it. I'm hard on my bags. I do plan on doing a video, a what's in my bag video and showing you how I'm using this, but I just want to move into it and use it a little bit before I do that. So that will probably come out in January or February. Now it does have um, a split seam on the bottom and probably my only complaint is that it doesn't have the feet. For what you pay for this bag, it would be really nice if you had that extra protection of the feet so that when you put it on a surface, it's not getting that extra wear and tear. I will definitely take really good care of this. It's beautiful. This is a shot of what it looks like on, um, on that side, or here, and you can turn it to this. I love how it fits right here um, in the MM size. This strap was shorter, so it fit a little closer under here, and I really wanted something to fit right about here. I love the placement of it. If I want, I can always tuck these in. Nice to be able to use it both ways. It's just beautiful. There's an interior shot for you. Does fit my phone quite nicely. Then if I put an agenda in here, um, my new compact, it really is going to fit so much. That is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the things that I got for Christmas this year. I feel very blessed. I hope that you all had a wonderful holiday. Again, I will link all of the items from today's haul in the description, and I will be back soon with a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you. I'll be back soon. Bye.